Hi. Um, all right, so we're going to learn how to do a layer mask and create a white background. So first thing you want to do is double click the background. And then you're going to hit this little button down here. It looks like a camera. You just hit it. And then notice a little white um, box opens up right next to the original you have here. And you just take a brush. You want to make sure it's set to white and black. If it's not, then you just hit, it says default. You just click that. You can, um, there's a little arrow button. You can actually swap back and forth from black and white. You see that? But you're going to have your brush. And you want to make sure your brush is a good size. And up here, I, my brush is set to 444. Um, and you can type in any number. You can choose different brushes. You can install different brushes. I'm just using whatever it comes with right now. And then so if you're on white at the top, nothing happens. But if you have black, now it's um, taking out, you see that? It's taking out um, all this stuff here. You know, it basically like erases it, but it keeps the information over here in the layer. So let's say if I want to make a good, good, um, I'm going to zoom in, command plus or control plus. But you can see I, I went over um, the edge. So I need to swap it back to white, and then I'll go from this direction. Maybe I'll make my brush a little bit smaller. And so when you zoomed in, you can really see the edge really well. But the idea is you want to make it as seamless as can be so that they were erasing. I'm going to go back, swap it back to black. These are the best. This is such a great way to make sure you have a seamless um, and you can get rid of um, and layer your images. It's really, 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 really helpful. I mean, sure, you can just start erasing, but when you just use the eraser, we have a tendency to be really sloppy and parts of the image get um, like just, it's real chunky. You can see where it's really, um, where I get in and I erase, and you can see because of the checkers, if you use the hand, it'll but let me get my brush here. Oops. So if you see any checkers at all, that means that it's too transparent. So what you want to do is get rid of all of this, all of this extra background so that we'll just put them on a plain white background and it'll look more like a Richard Avedon. Richard Avedon shot on just a white background. So it's not distracting to the subject. So here we go. Going really fast now. But I want you to take your time and get a really clean background. And I want it to look natural. Like a natural white background. Now if you have too much in your background, it's going to be obvious. And no matter what, there's too much like the shadows and stuff that are on the person, it will, um, like see even this shadow right here. If I just erase the shadow, it's not going to be as, so what I should do is actually just crop right there. I can crop and remember he used an eight by 10 camera. So we know that it should be an eight by 10 picture. Here we go. Going back. So almost done here. And I can go really fast. Also, if you're doing it on Cameo, it's going to be a little slower because you're streaming. Don't just do a whole bunch of erasing or whatever, because then like if you mess up. Well, I, well, the cool thing about mask is you can kind of just fix your little mistake real easy like that. But as you can see, you want this, this edge to be really, really, really perfect. So that when you put it on something, Look at that. So I've got my, my um, brush is kind of big, so it's kind of bleeding into. But um, another thing we can do before we're, while we're cleaning it up, is put an actual white background behind there so you can actually see what it looks like. So now we're going to take white, the white there, and I'm going to just draw. Here's a rectangle. I'm going to draw. You can draw a rectangle or you can paint white back there. And look, now I'm going to go to my layers. I'll put it behind there. And then you can see, oh, and then I have to click back in this 
this um, in this square, notice all the black around that shows, yes, I've gotten, so we click on, oopsie, you gotta get the paintbrush, black is what takes it away, and you, cl you click on that. Um, now, we know that the plain default white is pure white, so that if you do the same color white um, for all your images, you know that'll be, um, it'll be consistent. So you just want this to be really, really clean. And I'm gonna crop it. I'm gonna take the crop tool. I'm gonna to make it eight by 10 here. And I want it to be like Abaddon. He pretty much did it all like cropped right at the top of the leg. The standing is good. So this would be um, kind of like a rule of thirds would be right there, but I don't know. I think he kind of has them in the middle. And I think it, it goes like just to the top of the, their head. So I think that looks like it. So we can compare. And you wanna make sure it's in good black and white. Image. You can go to grayscale. Just make the whole thing grayscale. Don't merge. Discard. Looks exactly the same. Um, and I'm gonna go back in here and just keep cleaning it up. If you don't click in the right spot, it. Um, see that just happened. Got to make sure I'm in there in that in that spot layer. All right, so let me turn off this for a second. I think the white brings it back. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Look at that. So I'm just going around the edge, just make sure it's nice, and then you can clean up a little. But I think that looks good. Um, and then we could actually sharpen it just a little bit if we want, but I just really want to clean it up so it looks better in here. Oopsie, that's the wrong one. It's black. So just make sure it looks really, really, really clean. Zoom in, get all those edges. The more you zoom in, You just have to really, it's like painting. Then you go back. Because the idea anyway is you want, want them to be able to um, blow your photograph up really, really big and it look perfect. So that's why zooming in really good is really important. Okay, let's see. Then he's got a little stuff here. And again, just keep going back and forth with it. All right. And I'll teach you how to sharpen. So now I'm good. I feel good about this. Actually. That looks right there. Okay, I feel good about this. So I'm gonna go flatten image. I'm gonna duplicate the, lip, the layer. And I'm gonna say filter, other, high pass. And you do it till you can see the image. Three is good. You don't wanna, actually 2.6 is good. Um, and then you put it to either soft light or overlay. Just look and see what looks better. Doesn't that look a little bit more like his? It looks good. So this is with, with it and that's without. See, it looks blurry now. Isn't that wild? There, look at that. I mean, it's subtle, but it makes a difference. Save as. We can compare with Richard Avedon's. Um, Avedon one. Okay, cool. And I want to go over to my Richard Avedon's. I should have it oops, right here in the instructions. See, we want it to look like that. He's got a lot of a lot of black in his grays. It's cool. So I could even go image adjustment levels and like play with my levels and make it even darker somehow. Another way is you can mess with your shadows. 
Ooh, I like bringing down the white a little. That's cool. All right, so that's it.